welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sharifa, also known as Sharifa Samora, and I am super excited that you are here today. So if you love all things luxury, especially luxury designer handbags, if you love unboxings, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am planning on making more videos and I would love it if you join me on that journey. Also, if you want to stay up to date of what I'm doing on a daily, is it outfits or something else, please don't forget to follow along on Instagram. I will leave my handle over here. I would love to welcome you over there as well. So what are we going to talk about today? Today's video, I am going to talk about the Chanel 23P collection that just came out. Um, it was launched on the 30th of January in my city. And I'm just going to talk about the lounge, about the items I've got and what I did. So as you guys know, I think Chanel is my most favorite brand. Yeah, I think it's my most favorite luxury brand or one of the favorite luxury brands. And uh, we had our lounge day on the 30th of January and guys, it was packed. Normally, I am pretty good in getting all the bags and items, whatever that I want. Like I'm a true bagaholic. I also love their ready to wear. And uh, I've decided not to go to the lounge at 10 a.m. Like normally they open at 10 a.m. But I was like, no, I have my workout. I'm going for my workout first. I even talk to my SA, even talk to several SAs. Like, listen, how many of these items do you have? Will I find my bag? I'll be like, you're all right. So it's been the first time ever. I'm not saying ever, but like this, this time around, people were lining up early. So there was a line for the lounge, which is just hasn't happened in the past year not that i know of so there was a line for lounge day uh people started lining up as of 8 30 a.m and i came in at 10 45 bumped into a girl i know and she was like you're late everything is gone and it's the first time that i actually saw my store and i love my store i'm way too much in that boutique anyway but i love it it was packed it was a zoo and my items were gone so here we go <laughs> I did not. So as you guys, you've seen my wish list. One of the wish list items was a cocoa handle and I want one in white and I really wanted that one white or navy. Navy did not came in yet. Uh, white was sold out. My boutique got four. There was nothing left around 1040. It was all gone. So within 40 minutes, they were gone. There was a black cocoa handle left, but I just have to behave, um, trying to do as much wishlist items as possible. I mean, I cannot keep on going to buy bags like I've been doing. So I just, you know, want to have purse piece and stuff like that. So I did not go for the black cocoa handle because I want to have black cocoa handle, but I want to have it in medium. So I left it. There were some other top handle bags and I'm like, link here, which top handle bags I saw or like share a picture, which was beautiful. Also a very hot item because the black ones were gone, all the other ones are gone. This color was left, but I do have a bag in a similar color. Again, I'm trying to behave. I'm gonna do like a no buy, like a no buy list. I've been seeing those no buy videos. I will make one as well. So, anyways, I was like no because I do not want to have something in a similar color. I've already have a few pin bags, so I kind of let that go. I kind of felt defeated. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic, like not defeated, but I was like. Oh, I was like really behaving. I am working on not spending like crazy. I really want to, tr I'm trying to be like more, um, how do you call that? Like, I'm just trying to like, I'm always going to love buying stuff, but I'm just trying to buying things more meaningful. So just not go crazy, which is very hard with Chanel because the FOMO hits and it's just, it's just completely wild but i'm trying to be just like the better person um even ready to wear was kind of gone but like they told me it will come in still so i did not have i did not have a lot of footage unfortunately i'm sorry i only have a few pictures it was just like too jam-packed to go around with my phone and take little snapshots but um yeah so the wishes item was gone uh there was not ready to wear like i want this jacket i'm gonna share it here from 23p i'm really hoping to get that one but that was didn't came in yet so that's good news that way that's good news but uh yeah my wish list bag was gone so i did succeed there were some things that i actually was not really eyeing for so i got a little i got a little bit off my wish list so there are a few items that i've got which i want to unbox here 
with you guys today but um, yeah it was it was an adventure I'm so actually I'm so grateful that I'm close to Perspies if that ever is going to happen I don't know but like yeah because it was wild especially the bags I think a lot of people are coming in for bags and the few ready-to-wear items that we have and it's it's hard on those Chanel streets let's just say it that way but yeah so what did I get so shall we dive into it um I was not sure if I want to do an unboxing because First of all, I'm just like, nah, you know, I am not sure if I want to do it, but like I will share with you guys what I've got. Hoping you guys can guess what is in this. There, I saw this, I took it, um, kind of thought about it. Am I going to wear it or not? Normally this is not a choice I would make, but I will link the number and stuff over here, but I got a mini. And why I got this bag, it's a mini in caviar. Uh, Chanel doesn't make a lot of minis in caviar like I saw on her forum like people were talking that the caviar was not as pretty but like to be completely honest I don't see weird things on this caviar I kind of feel it's a good batch of caviar but not everyone agree with it and let me open the chain up here we are so I've got a mini I think they call this the mini heart crush like I've been calling it a pearl crush but like it's a heart crush because it's a heart so I was not wild about the pill crush at all, uh, but this one, I don't know, it's probably the color, summer is coming, um, a caviar mini, I have a black mini rectangular, I have a few minis, but they are in lambskin, so this is kind of my first caviar mini, my only other caviar bags are my, is my top handle, so I'm actually very, very happy, I love the little heart crush over here, I'm not a gold person, but nowadays I'm mixing more metals, so, and the gold green, there's just something about the gold emerald green that I like. So let me show you, it has the diamond quilting, of course, it's caviar leather. It has the back over here, turn lock key. And then the inside, it's pretty basic. So just like that, just like how the normal minis are and that extra, you know, compartment over here. But why I took this bag, even though it was not on my wish list, I did not know that minis would come out in caviar again. Um, and I like, I have the same with my Cough Skin reissue. I just love that this is, you know, like my mini rectangular, like in black that I truly love, but that one is lambskin and actually the chain is super long. You can only wear crossbody. This I can like do with the chain, whatever I want. I can make it longer or not. Like it's a little bit playing around, but you get what I mean. So this is why I wanted this mini. I think it's amazing for the summer. I can see myself wearing it to dinners, but also like wearing this super casual. So all in all, like I didn't get my white back, but I do have a beautiful mini in green and um, I'm actually quite happy with it. So this is, gotta enjoy this bag a lot. And minis for me are the perfect, perfect size, like my phone fits. And uh, I will do like a what fits in my bag one day, maybe like a review after a while. I'm not gonna wear it right now, we're in the midst of winter, but come spring, this is definitely a bag I'm gonna grab towards to a lot. So that was like a little bit of a, um, I'm actually happy I got one. Um, there was only one left and I jumped too late on the Chanel bandwagon and I never had like a caviar mini, but now I have one and I'm super happy with it. So another item, that I bought and it was not on the wish list, but this deserves a story. Um, I saw this in the summer, similar, something similar. And I was like, you know what, trying to behave I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then they had two this year, uh, this lounge, they had two of them again in my boutique. And I was like, I'm taking this. Um, okay, take it out. And this is a phone holder. And I'm actually not allowed to say it because it's, but it just reminds me of a mini Kelly a little bit within a Chanel form and um, I love the top handle details like a twist over here and again this is caviar and it has this beautiful back thing my phone fits I do have to take off my phone uh, protector like my case but my iPhone 13 Pro Max fits and it isn't even has a chain so officially this is not a bag this is an SLG okay what did I do over here it's an SLG and for me this is perfect for dinners um, because my phone fits, show you the inside and it has two compartments for your, like I'm gonna put my credit card, debit card over here and then I'm good to go, some cash on the side.
but this is the perfect mini bag for a date night going out i love it's like is it champagne or is it silver i am not sure i think it's silver hardware but i find this the cutest exclusive bag ever i took it because i also like it's not a bag but like a phone holder i took it because i feel i won't see this on everyone and um this is just like a stunning 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 bag and uh very happy with it I, i'm actually happy i didn't have the cocoa handle because i think i would have not bought it if they had my white cocoa handle so great piece for in my collection this one is definitely one i will travel with like a great going out bag so very very happy with this one so i was done after these two still like trying to figure out like i saw other white bags they were not bags that i wanted i really had the cocoa handle in my mind and actually i really had the cocoa handle in my mind so i didn't look at other bags and i always kind of feel like okay time to go i'm going out of the store it's like had enough um you know what maybe i'll get my bag maybe not but we'll see i just have these two other ones i'm happy and i had towards the entrance or the exit in this case i had towards the exit and my eyes are seeing something in the behind the glass and i was like oh what is that I'm like oh gosh i need to get out of the store the store is just like not good especially if you like a chanel edit like me it's so hard and i feel with chanel is the fomo and everyone can say like the prices are insane they are but at the end of the day um they're only going up because even with the coco handle i've noticed it was a lot more than what I paid for it and I feel the cocoa handle will go towards the classic flap I do not know if it's short like no one confirmed it as me but it's just like a feeling they're going up steadily and that's what happened with the classic flap too I do find like a very classic model so I have the feeling it will be the cocoa handle maybe the trendy and the classic flap it will be like their main you know their power horses when it comes to bags like a little bit like maybe Burke and Kelly Constance to make the comparison so uh yeah so i walked out and i saw this beautiful bag very exclusive i did not unbox it yet tried it on trying to talk myself actually out of it but again the fomo hits and maybe this is like the great marketing machine that chanel has to say like it's this kind of exclusivity um exclusive feeling fomo like when it's gone it's gone especially like they have six collections a year but some things never come back and that you kind of know if you love this so this may be nice because i never did like a youtube on um, really unboxing but like for people that are new this is how you get your bag like sometimes i'm asking not to wrap it but like if i do it for social i kind of you know this is how you get it so you have the camellia you have the beautiful lint because basically i mean these are expensive bags and i do feel like and this is where i want to go towards to more like celebrate it like it is my birthday month but the other day if it was my birthday month like my never ending birthday month but um you kind of also like need to celebrate it right so i love it's like wrapped like this like carefully wrapped like this camellia flower and then you open it up so it's all taken care of with hair and then you have the tissue uh, the chanel sticker on top of it um my daughter plays with these by the way so let me open it up and show you guys what I got so oh it's actually quite funny so normally this will be in the bag but I think she got me like a brand new one maybe so this is the um, dust bag black Chanel only the how do you say that only the classic flaps has to have a white bag and then you get it's like a new care here you go. I've never had this before, or I didn't look. That could be as well. You have the care tips for leather goods in there. And then, so this is gonna be a hot love hate kind of thing, but I fell so in love. Like, I also feel like whenever it's caviar, I just have to have it because caviar is so durable. It stays well for years if you treat it well, by the way. Um, so let me show you before I take the chain out. But this is the bag I saw and um, has a little history. So I love, I think you call it saddlebags. I love this. This is 
my favorite model ever. I love cross bodies. Um, I once had a bag from Henry Vendel. I know a few bag lovers know that brand, like R.I.P. Henry Vendel, like the store doesn't exist anymore. But I wore that bag. That is probably why I also love a box bag. I love when it's like crossbody, <clears throat> black, simple. This is something I'm 100% sure one day my daughter is going to borrow this for me. Um, I was a little bit hesitant about the CC, but I feel it's black, so you don't see that well. Would I have bought it when it was like a CC with hardware? Probably not, but there's something about it. They had this in this size, this is the medium, and they had it in a small too. The difference between two was like $200. Um, since I have a big phone, I love to like put stuff in it. I took the medium. I'm gonna show you the picture how I look like with the medium size on. But um, this is a chain, so classic Chanel again. It is gold hardware with leather in it and then this for your shoulders. And the back even has this little you know, compartment over here or how to call it like the Mona Lisa smile. Like It has just a simple system like this. Um, there is Chanel over here and I'm gonna take this out. So inside is pretty simple. It only has like one extra compartment that's over here. And the inside is of, it's not leather, it's not leather. The inside is like a black fabric. So no leather. No, that's it. And this is how the flat looks from the inside. So, but the caviar on this looks amazing. Someone else in first from like quoted already, like the caviar of this bag is, is nice. And I think it's an exclusive one. Like it's a love or hate kind of thing. I think it's a bag you won't see with a lot of people. Uh, it's inspired by their vintage Chanel bag. This is what it reminded me of. It actually is maybe like one of the first, next to the classic flaps, kind of Chanel bags that I saw with older people when I was younger. So very happy with this one. It was great price as well. It's not as expensive as a Coco handle or uh, a classic flap. So this is what I got. And um, actually softened the paint a little bit and then get it with my white Coco handle. But I know I'm gonna wear this a lot. I, I, I can't wait to style this baby. It's a beautiful, beautiful one. And um, yes, yeah, so this is what I got from the 23P collection. Do hope that I will get my white Coco handle somewhere this year still. I haven't looked at the shoes at all, which is super weird. Like I have a size 41. I did ask like 41 came in. Came in the slim bags. I'm very interested in the slim bags, but I need a 41.5 in it or a 42 even. So that was about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection. I will head to the stores in the coming weeks, see what else comes in, um, hopefully my bag, and just trying to get like more of a feeling. I, I, I love this collection, also the ready to wear. It's so beautiful. So yeah, do let me know, like Chanel lovers here, did you go for the 23P collection? Did you buy stuff? First time Chanel buyers, uh, also do let me know, like hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing chat about my experience from the Chanel lounge. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you around the next time. Thank you, bye bye.